All right, everybody, just a little update. Um, I called about my doors today. They told me that they would ship by the beginning of this week. And the gal that was very nice when I put the order in, today was not as nice, and told me, uh, well, you know, they're just not ready to be made yet. Uh, it's been way too quick. It takes time to make these doors. So here we are, door saga again. Um, I don't know, hopefully I get them this year. <laughs> I'm not sure. So yeah, we'll just sit back and wait. So I've got a little bit of staining done and some varnishing. As you guys can see here, uh, everything's starting to look a little bit better. But, uh, just darker than what I wanted though, like I said before. Really had hoped for a lighter color. But, you know, I could bail and, and uh, start all over again on this. It isn't that much work really. But I think I'm just going to hang tight. And there's the inside. This is all after having two coats of uh, the polyurethane on it that was suggested. I did sand down between coats with some 320 sandpaper. And I was really surprised at how rough the polyurethane was. So, anyways. That's that. Not a heck of a lot going on. Sorting out more wiring. I might actually try to get some wiring fastened up today get connected today and then just stuff it back through you know put my cross pieces in there where it goes across at uh, you know splice them into the other piece so the lights all run off of one, one piece what I have decided though was I had bought these really nice black uh, connectors that I was going to put here for a cigarette plug lighter and for USB plug but I think that wood so darn pretty I don't want to do that so what I'm going to do is make a little tin box to go behind, I think, or some kind of a little box and mount that inside the shelf. So if you want 12 volt power, you get to open the door and it'll be available inside the shelf. So I just, I don't want to goof up that front. It looks pretty nice and heck, why, why screw it up with some power? So, and I think I'm going to take on the inside here and I'm going to drop a couple of just 12 volt feeds. So if I want to expand, put a TV, a DVR, or anything like that, that the feed is already there for it, the power. And, uh, you know, we'll just put it off to the side, one side or the other, on a couple of Andrews connectors. So that uh, nothing, they won't touch or anything like that. And then put an Andrews connector on the side of the device you're going to put in, and, and uh, away you go. So, just thoughts. Give a little update. Haven't had a lot. Uh, my job the with uh, this time of the year things picking up getting crazy uh, I work for school district so uh, schools about ready to start and uh, we're going nuts because we're right in the middle of some massive remodels in a couple of buildings and and uh, it, it's it's hair pulling so anyways not a lot a little bit uh, tomorrow I got a, a club meeting I'm gonna miss out some not work hopefully I'll get some this afternoon on this and then uh, some more Sunday. So, everybody, take care. I appreciate all your comments, your helpful hints. They are very helpful. I'm not a woodworker. This is my first woodworking project. So, um, I'm learning as I'm going. And I do definitely appreciate any help or ideas that you guys have. So, have a great day. Hope you're having a good summer. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.